Okay, let's build one single slicer for multiple pivot tables. My data is going to be three different Excel tables on a sheet that includes sales data. So let's get started. Step one, I'm going to select the first table. I go to the data tab on the ribbon, hit from table and range. I simply just import my table to the query editor. Then I go back to the Excel graphical interface and I just simply repeat the process. I hit close and load to, and I select only create connection because I don't want to load the table back to the Excel. So I just simply hit okay. And here we go. The table has been loaded to the query editor. And I just simply repeat the process for all the tables. And the last one. Once all the tables have been imported to the Cure Editor, we have to transform our data a little bit because in order to have one single slicer, we need to connect the tables somehow. So I simply just right click on one of the Cure and I hit Edit. If I want to link connect tables together, then I need to have unique values in a table. But these tables including duplicated values in each field. So what I'm going to do, I create a unique table. I go to the Home tab, I hit open queries, open queries as new, I select three or more, table one is already added because that was selected, I'm going to double click on the table two, table three, hit ok, and let's say I want this filter for the country, so let's call it filter country. Let's create another one, I'm going to right click on this one, hit duplicate, and this should be let's say the unit type filter. I go back to my country table right click on the country, remove other columns, go to the home tab, remove rows and remove duplicates. I'm going to do the same for the other table but I need the unit type this time. Once I'm done I can close the query editor, hit close, close and load to, only create connection and add this to the data model. And I'm going to add all the tables to my data model. It's easy to do, right click on the table name, load to, check the box, add this to the data model. Repeat the process and the last one. Once it's done, I can go back to the data modeling section. Either I go to the data tab, hit manage data model, or if you have the power pivot tab activated on your ribbon, then you can select that one as well and hit manage. All tables have been loaded to my data model and now I'm going to connect those. I go to the home tab on the ribbon and I hit diagram view. Okay, once I'm at the data modeling section, I will need to just organize my page a little bit. And I just simply select the fields from my tables and drag and drop on my filter table. And since the country is the key I want to use, that's my unique identifier. I move on the field I want to connect with and I simply repeat the process for all the tables. Okay, but I got a second filter. I'm going to do the same but with the unit type because that's gonna be my unique filter. And I'm done. I connected my filter tables with my sales tables. I close this window, I open up a new page, I right click on the first table, I hit load to pivot table report, existing worksheet, uh, let's place somewhere here, hit ok. The first pivot table has been created, let's build a simple one, let's say rows country, unit type also rows, item number and the sales value under the values. Design tab, subtotals, do not show subtotals, report layout, tabular, as well as repeat all item labels. I go to the view tab as well, I remove the grid lines and I simply just repeat the process for all the tables to build my pivot tables. Okay, once I'm ready with all my pivot tables, I can add the slicer. First I select one of the pivot table, I go to the insert tab, select slicer. But instead of selecting a field from the active pivot table I just selected, I hit all right next to the active field. It shows all the tables I have created in my system and let's check the country field from the filter country table. My filter has been created, let's modify a little bit, I add two more columns, I shrink it a little bit. But now it will not work yet. As you see, I hit Canada, it will filter only the first table, the first pivot table. 
because there is one thing missing from this puzzle. And the last thing you need to do is just select the slicer, right click, select report connections and connect the reports on the pivot tables as well. Check these boxes, hit OK and here we go. All the fields have been activated on the filter and if I select let's say the United States which is common in those two tables, then the slicer will filter both pivot table. And let's choose another country. Mexico. As you see, one slicer is filtering three different pivot tables. And now let's check how does it work with two different filters. Report connections, connect with all the reports, hit OK. Let's try again, hit store. And here we go. It showed me only the store sales on every single pivot table.